What's up guys, Andre here, and today I'd like to take a look at the basics of the Ionic framework with Vue.js. Ionic is an open source UI toolkit for building mobile apps using web technologies. Now, traditionally, Ionic heavily relied on Angular, but as of version 4, they are building it in a framework agnostic way that lets you use any framework you like. In my last video, we took a look at how to use it with Angular, and in this one, we'll take a look at using Vue. Now keep in mind that, that view support is still in alpha. So a lot of the stuff I'm showing you here at the time of this recording can be changed or different in the future. So here's the demo app that we'll be creating. I built this several times on my channel in different mobile frameworks. It is a Reddit clone that pulls from the Reddit API, specifically the AWW subreddit, and it lists the posts. And if you tap on one, then it goes to a higher res image. So yeah, let's build this from scratch using Ionic 4 and Vue. Okay, so I have a Vue CLI 3 project scaffolded out and all I've done is add Vue X and Vue Router. So as you can see, we have the router working here because we're gonna be making use of that when we go to the higher res image page. Okay, so to change this into an Ionic app, let's go to the GitHub page here. It says to install Ionic Vue and Ionic Core. So let's go ahead and do that. npm install ionic view and ionic core. Okay, that's done. Let's see what we have to do next. And now all we have to do is import ionic from ionic view and view that use ionic. So let's do that. So this goes in, oh wait, I don't have it open yet. Okay, so this goes in the main entry point. So that should be under main.js. So we'll just paste that in here. As you can see, the router and the store is already in there. So that should work. And if I save this, this should now be an Ionic app. You won't see any difference here, um, but it is an Ionic app. And since it's mobile, we'll do this. And there is a live reload when you save something. So if I go into the hello world component that we have here, then I can add something here and that should auto reload. It might take some time, so I might edit out how long it takes. Okay, so I am going to make use of this component here. Um, so let's just erase everything in here. Let's leave the div and then we'll erase everything in here. And um, yeah, we don't need any of these styles. Okay, so if we go into the Ionic documentation, we just have to make use of the components here. And all of these components are web components, so they are framework agnostic. So let's just open up the API reference. It's a bit more detailed documentation. And let's play with a few of the components and then we will start building our Reddit clone. So let's start with a label. So as you see, there's different types of labels here. And just like any view component, you can just drop this in and it should work. So let's just drop it in here to the template and that should show up. There it is. Uh, so this image is still here. That is in the app component. So let me remove that. Actually, it should be in the home component. Yeah, so let me just remove this. And yeah, I should be using the home component instead, but since I already started in the hello world component, I'll just stay there. Okay, so let's take a look at a button, typical button. Now in my experience, the different colors don't seem to work yet. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So, the default works, 
but the secondary and the tertiary, the colors don't seem to render. At least when I try. Let's try it again here. So I'm going to do this, and then let's make another one. I'm gonna wrap it in a div so it's on its own line. Let's wrap this one in a div as well. Okay, so yeah, the secondary and the tertiary don't seem to work. Let's see. Again, it's in alpha, so there's still a lot of things to be worked on. Let's see if it works. So as you can see, only one of them renders, and uh, it doesn't seem like these two are rendering, just this one. So yeah, we'll just stick with the default button. And events still work the same way. So if you do at click equals handle click, that should work as expected. So if you go down here, let's make a methods section. Let's make a handle click method. And let's just alert handled. This should work. And if I click it, there you go. Cool. Okay, one more component, and then we'll start building our Reddit clone. Let's take a look at an input. So I like this floating input here. So let's make use of that one. Where's that? So this one's floating. So I'm just going to grab all of this, paste it in, and go back to here, paste it in, and let's see if that works. Okay, so there you go, floating label. So I wanted to show you two-way data binding where you just do something like V model in here, and then you just set that to a data, data property and it updates accordingly. But that doesn't seem to work. And it's an issue with web components, not with Ionic. So yeah, we can't do that, but we can do it the manual way which is this way. So you just give it a value. Let's give it a value of my input. And then on the input event, so every time you type something, and this could be a different event if it's a different component, like a checkbox. But for this case, input is the correct event. And you just set my input to event.target.value. And that should work if we add a data property here and return an object. And let's say my input, let's give it an empty string. And then for handle click, let's just alert that. So we'll do this dot my input and that should work. So let's give it a try. Hello there, click the button, should be hello there. Okay, so that's how you get two-way data binding. You have to do it manually. So let's quickly take a look at some of the CSS properties that are available to us. So if you go to layout, um, there's basic structures here for header and footer, very typical layout, and the markup is here. Uh, but I wanna take a look at the grid. There's also a grid system here and let's take a look at this and this has three columns and if you paste this in this should work as three columns so let's do that and there are the three columns there's also a whole bunch of flexbox utilities which you can use which you should be using because Flexbox is the way to do layout these days. Where is it? Sorry, that's the wrong one. It's here. So yeah, a whole bunch of utilities for getting your CSS working correctly. So yeah, let's start building this Reddit clone. So I'm going to need a list component for that. Let's go back here. Let's look for a list component. There's the list component. And here's one here, so let me just take this. So I'm just gonna take this and add it down here. 
And let's see how that looks. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to delete all of this stuff just so it's a bit cleaner. So I'm going to remove all of this stuff up to here. Okay. And I'll get rid of this router in a bit. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is make an Ajax call to the Reddit API. So let's go ahead and pull in Axios. You can use fetch for this if you like, but I like using Axios. Okay, back to our code. Let's import this up here. So let's import Axios from Axios. And let's make a mounted lifecycle hook. You can do it in create it as well, but I'll stick to mounted. Let's put it right here. And let's make an Ajax call and see if we can get some data. So axios.get. So to get the, to work with the Reddit API, you just tack on JSON to the end. So reddit.com slash r slash aw.json. And recently I had to add this option, raw JSON equals one, or the higher res images don't seem to work. So this is fairly new and I have to add that. So let's grab the result. And let's just console log the response dot data dot data dot children. So I already know the JSON coming back and the structure because I've done this several times already. So just look at the, the returning JSON if you're curious. Okay, so let's see if this works. Okay, so there you go. There are 27 posts coming back from the Reddit API. So now we can just fill this in or use a V4 directive, I mean. So I'm going to get rid of these. And I am going to do a V4 here. Post in posts. Let's make a posts variable down here. So in our data, let's do posts equals an empty array for now. And then here, just grab this and set it to the posts this dot posts. Okay. Let's get rid of this. And now we can iterate over that. The key is post.data.id. And let's just put the title in here, see if we get that working. Post.data.title. Okay, see if this works. Okay, so there are the titles coming from the Reddit API. Let's add an image in here. So I'm going to add, there's also an ion image component. I'll use that in the high res version. It's basically the same thing. It just has support for lazy loading, but I'll stick to a traditional image here. So I'm going to bind this source to post.data.thumbnail. And let's just put thumb here and I'm going to add a class just so it's round and I'm going to add some CSS here. Let's just see if this works first. Okay, so it does. Let me just grab some CSS so it is rounded. Okay, back to our code. I'm just going to paste a thumbnail class here and it's just making it round like I said. Let's see if that works. Cool. There doesn't seem to be a thumbnail here, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so now let's make use of view router and click on one of these and then go to a different route and display the higher res image. So I'm just going to make use of this component, the about one. You should definitely name this correctly, but I am a lazy developer and it's going to use this about view. So let's go into our router first. 
and let's just say that we can accept props here because we want to pass it props props true and let's go to that about page and let's accept the props so let's make a script section here and let's add a props section here let's say image source and we'll pass in a prop from the hello world component so let's go back there and let's first add a click handler for these ion items so i still have my handle click here yeah so i'm going to make use of that so i'm going to do handle click equals handle click and I want to pass in the higher res image source. So I already know how that looks in the JSON. So I'm going to just type it in here. So post.data.preview images zero.source.url. Again, just look at the, the JSON coming back and you'll see how I got that. And then we have to accept this in the handle click method. So let's just say image source. And I'm not going to put this alert, but I am going to push to that router. So this router push. And we have to use the name here because if we pass props, we have to use the name. And the name is about, again, use better names. But params is where you pass in the props. And in our case, it is image source is image source, but we can just use ES6 and do this. And yeah, so now we just have to go in our about and we can put an image in here or we can, like I said, I'm going to use the ion image component. So it's just ion image and there is a source as well. And that's going to be the image source coming in. Hopefully this works. Image source. And that's it. Actually, let me put a back button in here too. So it's going to be ion button. And at click equals. Let's just do it here in line. So router.go negative one. That should go back. It's going to say back. Okay, let's see if I did everything correctly. Okay, so I'm going to tap on one and hopefully this works. So there you go. There's the image. There's the back button. And I think I can get rid of this. I don't need this anymore. It should be in app view. Yeah, this router link I don't need. Or the nav, I mean. So yeah, let me add the header up here. So I'm going to grab that from layout I think yeah let's just grab a header here so like this so just ion header we can just put that in here on top and we can call it reddit clone slash r slash r and we can grab this and we can put it in the about view as well. We don't need this. Put it here. And let's say image. Cool. So there it is. And if you tap one, and there's the header for that one. So there you have it, guys. We managed to create this mini Reddit clone in Ionic 4 with Vue.js. Again, it's still an alpha, but I think a lot of progress is going to be made on this project in the upcoming months. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.